Hello, I just want to give you an update on what's been going on um, with the cargo ship and now the um, new docking base station and uh, I found that I've had to um, do multiple vertex buffer objects uh, I found the Raspberry Pi will only render 65,000 um, vertices which is too limited for our, for an overall scene so now I've, I've written code which will actually manage as many triangles as I like depending on memory and I'm just going to show you what that does and uh, I've got both now the docking station and the cargo ship running together so let's have a look now and see how that works out so let's run it up notice it hardly takes any time to actually load the models in render all the textures merge and combine all of the triangles and here we have our scene here is the, the cargo ship and I've got it flying through the, um, the docking station nice and slowly and uh, you haven't had a look at this one yet um, docking station so I'm going to fly around that a little bit and take a look at it. There's a few little tricks I've employed here to to make it look like um, we're hovering the pl above the planet. In fact the sky box is following us around so it, lo it looks like it remains static whereas the um, the base station and the ship obviously are on their own um, have their own local coordinate system and I'm just going to follow in after our cargo ship here uh, notice I've left all the detail in there still. You've got, still got all of the details for the um, the bridge and the cargo bay and even the details inside for the living quarters. But uh, So I haven't really optimised this at all. And uh, it's, it's, I'm still quite amazed how fast this is running. It's about 40,000, 50,000 triangles and um, about 80,000, 90,000 vertices running on the Raspberry Pi Model uh, 3 Model B and that's not the B plus so um, I'm still pleasantly surprised and I want to see how this is going to run on the Raspberry Pi Zero as well so um, anyway there's an update and uh, my ship's flown off now so uh, I thought you would keep you informed of what's going on thanks for watching